Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Kelly & Co. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to handle spider mites and mealybugs. So unfortunately one of my plants got spider mites last week. And I was not happy, but I treated it and now it seems to be fine. I'm going to keep it in quarantine for maybe another week just to make sure. But I think I got them. So I'm going to start with mealybugs. So mealybugs are those little kind of fluffy white, teeny tiny little bugs that stick in like the crevices, like in the leaf veining of your plants and basically they suck the life out of your plants. Um, so you're going to notice yellowing leaves and not as much growth, um, eventually the leaves will drop off but if you are vigilant and you check your plants all the time you should catch them early. So I'll put a picture up here of what mealy bugs look like. Now to treat them you can use neem oil, the plant run I do an amazing neem oil or you can use the Yates Conqueror spray which is what I use. Um, I just find it much easier because you are just spraying it on. So, I'll pop those up here. Um, next is the spider mites. Spider mites are basically teeny tiny little spiders. They are red or reddish brown in colour and they're really, really, really small. You're probably going to notice the webbing before you notice the bugs. But I had them on my stingray um, and it's got quite a deep hole where the leaf joins the stem. So they were in there and I saw the webbing and I was just like, how no, this is not happening. Um, so I took the plant directly to the laundry sink and I washed the hell out of it with just running kind of colder than lukewarm but not cold water because I didn't want to shock it either. Um, got them all off, dried the leaves, and then sprayed it with the Conqueror oil, um, spray oil from Yates. Um, and I kept it in quarantine. As soon as you notice any bugs or disease or infection or anything on your plants, you want to quarantine them away from your other plants. You do not want all your house plants catching whatever that one plant has. So I'll put a picture up of what the spider mites look like. So they will destroy your plants. They will start to turn yellow, um, growth will slow down, and eventually they will die off. The yellowing looks really similar to if you are over or under watering some plants. So make sure you are checking to see if there are any bugs or anything on your plants before you adjust your watering. Remember, a moisture meter is always key um, for checking the moisture levels in your plants. So I hope this short little video helps you guys. Um, if you've got any questions about treating diseases, pests, anything like that, just leave them in the comments below uh, or hit me up on my social medias. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.